Close to a year ago, I was at a conference out in Denver showing off my textbook series, Breaking the Spanish Barrier, Breaking the French Barrier, and I had a conversation with a gentleman from Victory Productions who mentioned to me that there might be a very exciting development in how textbooks are uh, presented to students, and I had always wanted to do some sort of electronic version of the book, but I didn't know how. Well, one thing led to another, and within about eight months, uh, we had put together cooperatively a new textbook, an iPad version of Breaking the Spanish Barrier. There's actually five things about this textbook which I think are extraordinary. The first is culturally, I'm able now to put current up-to-date information about all the major Spanish-speaking countries, populations, heads of states. I can put pictures of athletes, of famous uh, writers and artists, and give biographical information to them of great interest to the students. Um, second thing I'm able to do is I bring a language lab to a student's home. Students now are able, with the touch of a finger, to get a vocabulary. Aguda. To get a vocabulary word. Agria, ama, amorosa. They can practice the vocabulary. They get a visual image of it. And many studies have shown if you combine a visual with an auditory sound, you're more likely to remember that vocabulary word. So this is, I think, very compelling. The third thing I really love about this version of the book is that students now can do homework at home. And when they do homework at home, they can check as they go along. Um, they fill in the blanks, they write an answer, they immediately check it to see if they're right. In this little section, we're testing how to do the present tense. Students will type in a word, and they will immediately see, bingo, that they're right. I found the last few months in the classroom, students at home are doing work that I used to have to do in the classroom. I'm able to confidently know when students come into class, they work through an exercise, they know the right answers, I can quickly answer questions for them, but I feel as if all of a sudden my class time is freed up to do things that should happen in a language classroom. We can speak together, kids can do oral presentations, uh, we can read more literature, I feel freed up completely because a lot of the work that I used to have to do in this room, my students now are doing at home. Um, the fourth thing I really like about the books is that videos are able to be embedded, not dependent at all on having a strong internet connection, but the videos and the audio are downloaded into the iPad forever. Uh, consequently, we can put in an incredible article here on La Marinera, which is a great national dance from Peru. Students can read the article. They can listen to an audio uh, recording of the article by a Peruvian actress. La Marinera, una pasión de origen peruano, por Fanny Vera de Villacaba. Kids can follow the words uh, throughout the article. They have beautiful pictures. Uh, and what's more, you can actually see the dance in action. Take a look at this. And all of a sudden the dance comes alive. So if you read about a dance with white handkerchiefs and music and courtship, you see the images and you go, ah, I get it. That's so elegant. That's so romantic. Um, it's quite extraordinary, I think. So and, um, that's another thing I love about it. We have videos of, of, of sports people, of cooks, of artists, of singers. Um, so that's an incredible feature, I think, of the iPad. The fifth and final one is actually an economic question. Um, those of us who have our own children who go to high school or college, remember how much, or we see every semester, how much textbooks cost. Each iPad book costs $14.99. I think Apple really is helping to revolutionize uh, education in many ways by telling publishers, this is all you can charge. So you get a whole textbook, you get the pictures, the audio, and the video, and the, the uh, interactive exercises, all for a price of $14.99. Uh, it's a marriage here of technology and of great teaching, and those together with uh, the geniuses of 
the people at Apple, the people at Victory, that understand all the high-tech magic behind the book, I think lead to something that for me has revolutionized the way my students are learning and the way that I teach.